Catching a quick meal on the road can be as easy as visiting your local grocery store. Yum. You may remember Tara who drove us to Denver. Well, we met up to go to the mountains. What's it like just picking up a couple guys off the highway and the next thing you know you're sitting in the mountains with them? I think that if I told people, they might think I was crazy, but I don't feel crazy. These big, powerful mountains around you just make you feel like, you know, you aren't the most powerful thing. When you come into the mountains, it makes you look at life a little differently. Like, you are so small compared to, you know, what's really out there. I'm just really happy to have spent some more time with you, and it's, it's almost like encouraging me to do things like this more, to get out more, and to make connections more. It was a, a little bit of faith on either part. I feel like I could know you guys for, you know, forever. We all are so similar in our ideas and how to live and experience life, so I think that that will keep us connected. It's a 100% success rate when you have no agenda and you have nowhere to go. And all you have is time and the inclination to go and to say, to say yes. You know, just to know that there is maybe an undercurrent that is, how do I say this without sounding spiritual, but when perhaps greater than you in the sense that it's not about getting up and going to school or going to work or whatever, you know? Like in fact, you, you can string it through. You can go from, you know, small town Iowa to Denver in one ride and you know, a guitar and a sign. It turns out that does work, you know? And I hope that people don't forget that. I hope people don't forget that you can just go out and make it, you know, in any class that you want. Good morning. It is about 5.08 in the morning and we are going to volunteer at a soup kitchen. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna walk about a half an hour away. It's at Broadway and 22nd and we are at Broadway and 12th. And MapQuest said it took about half an hour. So, here we go. The uh, Denver Mercy Mission started actually as a women's shelter to get prostitutes off the streets in the late 1800s. I've done 22 years in Supermax penitentiary systems. This is another one of God's miracles. It reminds us exactly how much generosity and love and kindness is in the human heart. So hard at work, a morning well spent at the uh, underappreciated Denver Rescue Mission. Kind of like a news report. <laughs> yeah. So we're exploring alternate forms of hitchhiking in the 21st century, and uh, we got a message from Katie on Craigslist. We put a little post on Craigslist. And we got a message from her. So here we go. Hi, Katie. This is Josiah um, from Craigslist. What time were you thinking on leaving on Friday? Pretty early sounds good. Seven is okay. Well, do you have any issues with dogs? Not at all. Not at all. Oh, gotcha. Our eventual goal is Portland. Talk to you later. Bye. City. Woo! Salt Lake City!